There's been a lot of talk lately about representation, and that is a very real thing. For people to have the opportunity to see themselves in the women on the grid and in pit lane. Female owned, female driver, a lot of female crew members, engineers. We want to be empowering for other women in this industry and in outside industries. All of us are really pushing each other to have a really good month of May. Ultimately, the race and the timing sheets are going to say whether we deserve to be there. The idea of seeing a line of women with matching uniforms, okay, you might say that's cool, but to a 10-year-old girl watching that from home, it hits differently. So with that, I'm proud to say that Pareto Autosport will have a technical alliance with Team Penske. We'll start with the 2021 Indy 500 with plans to grow from there. Our team is about 75% women. Women have made a lot of strides in racing in so many different, you know, different places, but in North America or around the world, at this level, at this pro level, to see this many women on one team, this is a first. It's really important because, you know, I think, uh, for example, when I was young, I didn't really have a role model that, that was female or, or anything like that. So I was uh, just really lucky that I knew uh, what my dream was and my goal was. And, uh, and right now it's exactly the same with the race team. You know, they, they have these goals put, uh, put in front of them and they're achievable and uh, just because they're getting the opportunity. When I started at the pit school, I was one of maybe a handful less women that had been through the program. And the reason I didn't pursue it much further than the pit school was because I didn't see any opportunity. There was no representation for me to look for further. And, and so I, I let the dream slide because I didn't see, see myself in a role outside of just the school. Before I worked for Penske, before I got into motorsports, I worked in the aerospace sector and it was the same thing. There was one or two of us, but for the most part, it's a male-dominated industry. So being on the team with Pareto, where I'm surrounded by females and women, and it's different and it's exciting because some of the stuff that you tend to suppress when you're just one of the few women in a male-dominated field, none of us are suppressing that around each other. We're free. There aren't enough women right now to fulfill an entire roster at the pro level. So the only way that you're going to get there is by having them, finding those, those women that have the potential and then working uh, you know, on a, a year to two year plan to really get them brought up to speed. The only way that you can do that is by having that seasoned veteran who's willing to take them under their wing. We've dealt with green people before, new people that came in, maybe not this many at once, but you get the people that have the right attitude, and you can teach anybody that has the right attitude about things. We did a, uh, uh, actually a pit stop school uh, a couple weeks ago, and for four weeks, we had a live car and live driver and everything, and for only doing a, a four week stint, I was, I was really impressed with their performances. <laughs> I had a daughter four years ago, so athletically, I went from my prime at pit school to four years postpartum and, and not my prime shape. So getting in the gym and training at four o'clock in the morning every day uh, in the weight room was a shift. 5 a.m. practices, Monday through Thursday. Something that I was struggling was hanging the tire on the hub. So I went in 30 minutes early. I just sat there and just over and over and over again until I felt I got it for, I still do that. I still go in 30 minutes early and I started that a couple weeks ago. The women who are on the team have worked hard to get here. And they're not going to be on the team on race day or going over the wall unless they are capable of it. This is a, a, an enterprise to give opportunity and to and maybe provide inspiration where people didn't see themselves. But 
There's no mistaking that the women that are on the team and the women that are working hard here at the Open Test and through Quali Weekend and by the grace of God on race day deserve to be on that team, deserve that spot. The race isn't going to stop for us to fix a hose. That's why we're going to work on if something like that happens, what do you do, right? Let's learn from this. There's a lot of pressure. The Indy 500 is unique because the, the qualifying format is unique and we have, I think, 37 entries at this point or soon to be 37 entries, so not everybody's going to make the big show. For all of this effort and all of this time and all of the money spent, there's a possibility that you don't make it. The added pressure that our team has is we know more people are watching us. The bar is set a little higher. Uh, people either are expecting a lot or not expecting a lot. We feel that. Roger Penske and his team have given us this nod and we don't want to let them down. There's a lot riding on this.